Hello guys, today the sports star is doing the most underrated players of the last 40 years. So I've got a guest with me today. He's a very um he's a very big Cubs fan and so he's helping us uh do this today and so he has at number 5 Jim Edmonds. Can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, Edmonds was mainly known as a Cardinals player. He was a very, very good defensive player, put up big offensive numbers as well, but he was known for his gloves, uh, played 17 years, and uh, was with the Angels and the Brewers and the Reds, but mainly was known as a, a Cardinals player. He was very beloved in St. Louis. He won eight gold gloves in 17 years, hit a bunch of home runs, hit for power, and was just known as an all-around good guy in the clubhouse. And even though he won those gold gloves, he never really got his due because he didn't, you know, hit 40 and 50 and 60 home runs during the steroid era like McGuire and Sosa did. So for all those reasons, that's why Edmonds is my number five choice. So number four, we have uh, Dave Concepion, um, a Reds player. And so, yeah, can you tell us a little bit about him? Yeah, this is going back a little bit. Concepcion was a um, middle infielder, really, really fantastic glove. Uh, and again, he was, you know, this is during the, the Reds lineup when you had guys like Johnny Bench and Griff Jr. and Pete Rose, of course. And he was in that middle infield, and he was overshadowed by these other guys. Um, multiple gold gloves, um, had probably, uh, I think he was nine or ten-time all-star. Um, and was incredibly clutch when the game was on the line, um, delivered time and time again, um, and hit, I think, over 320 in the World Series uh, the three different times he appeared. So uh, he's my number four. Okay, let's move on to number three with Steve uh, Garvey. Uh, looks like he played for the Dodgers. Um, so what about him? He was a big, he played for the Dodgers, but he was also a, a Padres player. He's a tough one for me to pick as a Cubs fan because he hit the, the crushing home run against the Cubs in 1984 that sent us home and sent the Padres to the World Series where they played the Tigers. The Cubs fans have a tough time liking Garvey, but <clears throat> he was very, very popular in San Diego and in Los Angeles. Um, but never really, uh, just doesn't get the, the credit he deserves. Uh, again, another really, really clutch, clutch player when the game was on the line, the Padres or Dodgers needed to get into the playoffs or when they were in the playoffs for the world series, he hit almost 350, um, perennial all-star and, um, just a, a, a great all round player that doesn't get uh, the recognition he deserves. For number two, we have Keith Hernandez. Mets um, looks like he was a captain. Uh, I didn't know they had baseball captains in the MLB, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, Hernandez, is. there was some uh, substance abuse issues, and he had some personal problems, which I think kind of has hurt his reputation. But he is one of the greatest clutch hitters in the history of the game and just an absolutely unbelievable defensive player. Um, and he didn't, didn't always put up big power numbers, um, but he helped uh, the Mets win the World Series. Um, was uh, A lot of his career was in New York, also played for the Cardinals and the Indians. Um, but just a, a terrific hitter, hit for average a lot, more than power. Uh, and again, his glove was unparalleled at first base. All right, moving on to number one, and we have uh, Andre Dawson, a Cubs. Um, yeah, he played for the Cubs, and so tell us about our number one guy. He's uh, he's easily my favorite player for a lot of reasons. I still, even though he's in the Hall of Fame, I still don't think he gets his due. Um, he played on some pretty terrible Cubs teams. Um, and but was just a quiet leader in the clubhouse, was the only person in the history of baseball to win the Most Valuable Player Award on a last place team in 1987, which is almost impossible to do. I think he had 49 home runs that year. Um, 
has one of the best arms, and not only in right field, but in all of the outfield of all time. He can throw people out from the warning track, you know, without even bouncing it to home. Um, a gentleman of baseball, never once was his name mentioned during the steroid crisis, put up big numbers. I think he now works in, uh, he worked for the Marlins for many years in the front office, and now I think he works in Chicago. So they keep him around just because he's one of those leaders that the young players can learn from. But uh, deadly offensively, unbelievable defense, um, and just always made the team better on the field and off the field. And uh, he's, he's easily my number one most underrated player uh, of the last 40 years. All right. Thank you. Um, so thank you to our guest uh, for joining us today. And so, the, yeah, that's our top five um, most underrated players of the past uh 40 years and so yeah uh like subscribe and turn on the post notifications if you already haven't um so yeah thank you